I love dogs that. And dogs that. Point. Hi everyone, I'm Cara. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my top book recommendations for young toddler language development. I'm mum to 22 month old Ben and I make two videos a week all about being a toddler parent so if that's something that interests you please think about hitting subscribe below so that you'll never miss a video. We really read a lot with Ben. We are a bilingual family, Ben is growing up with both English and German and reading is such a great way to expose him to lots of language. Today I'm going to be talking about my 10 favourite books or 10 favourite groups of books uh, for language development but obviously reading everything and anything to your toddler can only be beneficial. Buying books is not even necessary. One of our favourite things to do normally when it's open is go to the library once a week and take out a selection of new books for free. I will however link all the books I talk about today below in the comments in case you do want to look into purchasing any for your family. So let's get started with my top books for young toddler language development. I want to talk about today is a book that Ben has really loved since he was a very young toddler and it is this Can You Say It 2 range and this one is Growl Growl. It's really the first book that encouraged him to communicate, in this case it was making animal noises. The book does have pretty sturdy large flaps and does stand up quite well to young toddlers handling it often, although ours does definitely now look pretty well used and a little taped together. So although Ben is a little bit older now and the book doesn't maybe hold his attention the same way as it did a few months ago, he still really loves to have a conversation about what's happening on the pages. So for example in this one he loves to talk about the bear about to eat his mangoes and talk about the different colours of the animals through the book. So it is one that's still pretty well used in our house. My next recommendation is I guess a step up from that type of book and it is these Usborne Peep Inside books. We have Peep Inside the Farm and Peep Inside the Zoo, although this one's in German. And I do actually have a few more that I'm going to get Ben for his birthday in August. We really love them, they are super interactive and also really informative. Ben has already learned so much from these, from how hay bales are made to how you milk a cow and they are pretty sturdy. So these are definitely among the favourites. Next we have these are My First Books by DK. As you can see from the state of them, they are very well used by Ben. I use them for all different types of activities. Actually a few weeks ago I made a language activities video showing some of the activities we do with Ben to support his language development and I'll make sure to link that above and below in case you haven't seen that yet and want to check it out and see these in action. The thing that I love most about these ones as first word books is that they actually have the photo instead of an illustration so it's really easy for him to match what's in the book to what he sees in real life. I also just love that there's so much to discuss on every page. So last November and December we went to New Zealand, we had a long haul flight to get there, we were toured New Zealand in a camper van so we had lots of time sitting down in a car seat or a plane seat trying to keep Ben occupied and this was the best thing to do that. There's just so much to talk about, so much to match to what you see in real life, so much to sing about on each page. We at the moment have the My First Words, the My First Nature and the My First Busy Town but I'm actually going to get Ben the My First Colours and the My First Numbers for his birthday in a few months time because he started to have a real interest in that and I feel that these really support that learning. These are probably the most used books in our little library and Ben has learned so many words from them. I would also totally recommend some kind of animal search and find book. Now my toddler is obsessed with animals so all animal themed books are going to be a huge hit here but two that we particularly love are this search and find animals book and this finding first animals book. Now what Ben really enjoys most is actually trying to find the things within the pictures. He in general really loves to try and find things on the pages. Now this search and find animals book is definitely a bit out there because the animals are doing some crazy things and Thomas is a little bit outraged by the fact that there are penguins and polar bears in the same ice scene but Ben really loves it and finds it so funny. I do find the Finding First Animals book a little bit cuter, Ben really likes the flap element and it's also been great for learning things like the names of baby animals and also habitats. He lives in a hive. Bees! Really interactive and lots of fun. Moving on to some fiction books and my next recommendation is Goodnight Gorilla by Peggy Rathman. This book has hardly any text at all which is particularly good for bilingual families like we are because it means we can be as creative or as inventive with the story as we want. 
This book supports language development in the sense that it really inspires discussion because the story is all about the pictures. Ben loves to talk about and tell us what he sees. He actually calls the book Gorilla Key because that is exactly what the book's about, a gorilla stealing a key. Out! Oh, he's out! So he is! Oh, who's next? The book is really funny, it's very clear from the images what is happening and I'm actually going to look into getting Ben some more books that don't actually have text because it just has so many opportunities for conversation and creativity. Next we have Dogs by Emily Gravett. This book has beautiful illustrations and the first sentence that Ben ever said is the first sentence in this book which is I love dogs which he absolutely does and it's probably why this book is such a big hit. Even the opening and the closing pages are loved by Ben because it shows all the different breeds of dog which he really finds fascinating. I personally love the use of adjectives throughout the book so it's actually where Ben started to understand the concept of big and small, good and bad because it describes the dogs in these opposites throughout. It's just an entertaining and beautiful book and it's actually one that we picked up for 50 pence in a charity shop. I, I love dogs. Bone. Next we have some of the Rod Campbell books. Now we do have his Dear Zoo and Friends series, so that's Dear Zoo and Oh Dear. They just present animals in a really fun way, they're really interactive and flaps are just always a hit with toddlers. He also has this early starter series. Now we have this one my day, but we've had quite a few others from the library. What is great about this one is it's just so relatable for Ben. It's a little boy going throughout his day, so he's getting dressed, he's having a bath, he's playing with his toys, and he just really can relate to it and enjoys it. I do actually have a bit of an issue with how much juice this little boy drinks, but it's easy to make up more of a story as you're going through the book, and Ben really likes finding the items which are at the side in the illustration. I feel like these are really well-known and obvious ones, but for good reason, they're super interactive. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Clyde. No, Clyde. Okay, no. Another recommendation is the Harry McClary series. As you can see, there is quite a variety to collect, and our favourite is Harry McClary and Zachary Clack. I love that the language in these books is challenging and intelligent. I also love that the animals in the stories do things that cats and dogs actually do, so it makes it really relatable, and Ben loves the fact, for example, that Harry is walking around with his bone or chasing cats. They're also just really lovely to read. There's great patterns to the words and some really nice rhyming. But, Harry McClary skedaddled. We. My next recommendation is You're a Hero Daily Bee by John Blake with illustrations by Axel Scheffler. This was actually the first picture book that Axel Scheffler ever did before he moved on to some of his more famous ones like The Gruffalo. This book is so funny and I swear that Thomas and I love it just as much as Ben does. It's probably Ben's favourite fiction book. It's just it's such an engaging, funny story, so much so that Ben actually now tells part of the story back to us. It also looks at what animals eat, habitats, etc, but within a fictional story. And my final recommendations are definitely obvious ones, but they are so worth a mention. And that's pretty much anything written by Julia Donaldson. We particularly also like the ones that are illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Some of Ben's favourites are Tabby McTat, Monkey Puzzle, The Highway Rat, also really loves Zog and the Gruffalo. Zog particularly, he has a little toy Zog which he loves to use to act out the story. And loop the loop, then crashed into a... Ouch! The rhyming in these books is particularly great and Ben has acquired so much vocabulary from them because he really can recognise the patterns and it means that he knows so much of the book off by heart or can finish the sentences. They're just really entertaining stories. Now I'd love to hear what your toddler's favourite books are. Please leave me a comment below. I'm always looking for inspiration because we just spend so much of our time reading, especially at the moment when we're spending so much time at home. If you've enjoyed today's video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, think about hitting subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content. Hopefully I've given you some inspiration today for some new books to try out with your toddler. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'll join me again in a future video. Bye!